who wrote Doctrine and Covenants, section 132. In 1969, a writing analysis was done on section 132, comparing the literary devices used in section 132 to Joseph Smith's writings and other contemporary Mormon writers, such as Brigham Young, John C. Bennett, Hiram Smith, and others. Section 132 was studied and compared to other sections of the Doctrine and Covenants as well as Joseph's other writings. Analyzing their writing styles and the use of different literary devices such as the use of compound or complex sentences, particle verbs, and relative pronouns. And the author organized a table of all of these different contemporary writers to compare how often they used these different phrases or sentence lengths and vocabulary words. After their careful analysis, the author concludes that Joseph Smith did not write section 132, but they believe they know who did. But first, let's read some of his analysis. The author noted that Joseph Smith tended to use the relative pronoun which a lot more than the word that. If he was, were to say which thing or that thing, he almost always used which. However, in section 132, the word that is used exponentially more and it uses words like which that that and that which. Section 132 also uses a lot of double prepositions such as are out of or in and after, neither in nor after. And aside from section 76 using out of, the use of double prepositions is not found in any of Joseph's other writings. Joseph Smith also never used the word must in any of his writings, but it appears twice in section 132. Joseph often used the word repent as a call to action, but repent is nowhere found in the section 132. However, the word destroy is used four times in section 132, where it's actually only used five times in the entire RLDS Doctrine and Covenants, which they use the Doctrine and Covenants that only Joseph Smith wrote. They also noted that damned was used seven times in the entire Book of Mormon, but three times in section 132. Also, many phrases that are used in section 132 are found nowhere else in Joseph's writings, such as eternal deaths, continuation, accept an offering, that go in threat, will receive at your hands. But when compared to section 136, which Brigham Young wrote, there are many more uses of the word that and that which. He also uses far more particle verbs which were found in section 132. Brigham's writings are also full of neologisms and scriptural fallacies, such as in 132 verse 1, where it says Isaac was a polygamist when he was not. So the author concludes that the writing style of Brigham Young is the best fit for section 132 and the majority of the King Follett sermon. There's a link to this analysis in my link tree so you can read it for yourself.